Yo, 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 what is going on YouTube? It's your boy Most Bone. Before we get into this video, I just gotta say, I just got to say, we are doing the Wade Rebound Challenge. I just got my 10th rebound. We started the game with six in the first quarter. I had eight going into halftime and I just got two more right now. We are currently down one. I'm gonna show you guys just because I already know some of you guys are gonna be like, oh, he did it off stream, he did the glitch, all that, because I couldn't do it on stream or whatever the case was. But if you go here, I'm gonna check. My starters are gonna come into the game. You've seen me do that. And Wade is at the two. I just used guys that can't rebound. And I just wanted to add the changes we did. So we did put Wade on Nazir Muhammad, just remember that. And then on the defensive settings, I clicked R1 here and I switched to Tony Parker and I put the on ball pressure off ball pressure both on tight then I went to Bruce Bowen and I smothered denied smothered denied on Robert Ory and then tight and tight on Tim Duncan the reason for this is it keeps the players a little closer to those guys so it gives you more of a chance to get the rebound and then you only put tight on Tim Duncan and Tony Parker because otherwise they're gonna blow past you with the way blow buys work now let me go ahead and clutch out this win so we could talk about this video so after all that we're actually about to lose like we're literally legitimately about to lose bro i haven't scored in so long i don't even know how to score roy roy let's go roy let's go good d boys good d grab it grab it grab it grab it someone get the ball why can't we get the ball oh michael ray richardson with the steal rudy gay and one and one let's go yo if you guys have any idea how many times i did this challenge i told you guys in that video i'm linking it down below this is a hard challenge one stop and we win this we got the stop boys so we finally beat that game and with that said we're gonna talk about getting steals so some of your evolution cards need steals including Dwayne wade and some of the other cards so you guys have been trying to evolve these cards i know you have I actually was going to get all my D-Weight steals. I was going to show you guys what I've been doing on stream and all that and just talk over it. But I thought, why not get into a game and talk about it together? So luckily for us, my D-Weight still needs four more steals. I don't remember what other players needed steals. I know there were a couple of them. And I remember how I got them. There is a very, very easy trick to get steals. And we're going to talk about it right now. Before I start, though, I want to say shout out to 2K finally fixing one of my glitched cards they gave me my Derek Jones yesterday. He's an incredible card. If you don't have Derek Jones Jr., try to get him and play with him. He's so fun to use. And that way, we actually ended up getting Danny Green. We evolved him already, and this card is incredible as well. I'm really, really enjoying the evolution cards. I'm enjoying evolving them, and I can't wait to do the same with D-Wade. Now, usually when I need to evolve my cards, what I usually do, depending, like if it's rebound, steals, and stuff like that, I usually go into Triple Threat Online. That way I can kill two birds, one stone type thing. I know what I need to do with this player, this player, and I only have three guys to focus on. But originally it started on domination. Domination was where it was at. Now, if you really want to just focus on evolution and say you want to do one challenge and really just focus on that, you can seriously just go into a domination game on rookie difficulty and destroy the computer. You'll get all your steals, all your rebounds, all your points. It's just going to be like, oh, you really didn't earn much besides evolving the player. So me personally, I never want to do that. I like going for all my stars, so I play my all-star difficulty. I only like playing something if it's going to benefit me. So in that case, I recommend like spotlight challenges to go for challenges, especially the first couple. They are on easy difficulties. The lower the difficulty, the easier it is to do things. So you have a moments challenge here on pro difficulty. One, you can focus on evolution cards. And two, you get to basically get an extra 2,500 MT. So that's a great thing to basically work on evolutions there. Four minute quarters, not too long. I would highly recommend that. Why not? The second thing is there's weekly challenges. You could do these. This is a lot of MT as well. You can start off on the first one. Three minute quarters on rookie difficulty. Now this is where I guess we'll start. There's three tokens in it to do this. Then I get 400 for the next one, 800, 1,000, 1,500. That's a lot of MT when you add it up besides the ones you get in the game. And you get six tokens for completing the whole week. So we're going to get into a game here. I have D-Wade, the guy I need to evolve, and I'm using a bunch of random set cards. I just realized we're actually playing the Lakers, and we're playing LeBron and AD, and we don't have a good team. So hopefully, 
we're gonna be okay so now technically there are three to four ways to get steals they either include just using d-wade or not using d-wade it all depends so what we're gonna do is we're gonna use d-wade the whole time that's our guy that we're focusing on so our first method would be off the double you want to come off the double and that actually counts as a steal for d-wade he just has to tip it he doesn't have to actually redeem the ball he just has to be there so when we double it's actually really good because most of the time you're just gonna hit the ball out of the player's hand and your second player is gonna actually come over and take it from him so I normally like to off ball double you just come through the other players already dribbling the ball too much all that stuff so you come in you swipe at it or sometimes you don't even have to swipe at it which brings us to our next method which is when you come up and do that little my career steal from last year where you basically run across the body and get the little bump steal animation now that's how I usually get my steals but it also sometimes leads to blocks and a good ball handler can spin away from it so you gotta kind of come from like the other side completely and I don't know how I always get flagrant calls like I don't do anything to deserve flagrants like I really don't now this is gonna work with a lot of players I love stealing the ball on inbound passes I try to read the floor I try to kind of bait look like I'm far away and then hit my turbo and speed demon in my way across now they changed it that when you click square especially if you press it hard or press it multiple times you will foul the other player so it kind of made it a little more difficult so you gotta kind of be creative with it and that's why I'm saying use your body instead of your hands that way you don't have to click square now, I'm gonna tell you guys Varizal just got called for another flagrant you can call a timeout and it gives you the option if you want to challenge the call I know this was a flagrant but I can still challenge the call to look at it a lot of times it does get reversed there are a lot of times the computer basically tells you that you fouled when you really did it so if you ever feel like one you barely touch the guy challenge the call it doesn't work online it only works against the CPU so if you're playing domination any of that and I promise you the amount of times this works where I'll be in a domination game, it's really close. I'll just challenge and then that call gets overturned and I get the ball is a lot. So make sure you do this. Make sure you know about this because honestly, I don't know how 2K added this, why or any of that stuff. I get it. It's in basketball in real life, but this is in real life, man. This is a computer based game. They should make the right call. So you guys know Wade is the shooting guard, a really great method. Whoever you need to get steals with change the matchups let him guard the point guard i promise you it's gonna help you get so much more steals it's honestly very helpful especially if like that player doesn't allow double teams like he passes out of it a lot that way you can actually be on the main ball handler and you'll get more steals just naturally so i'm supposed to be on the ball handler but they are giving the ball to daniels to bring it up so i put myself on cook to defend cook right and then what happens is they keep letting Daniels bring it up. So I just stole the ball from Daniels with Williams, which makes no sense. I guess they don't want to dribble up on Wade. So here's Rondo bringing up the ball. I'm on him with Wade. I am usually clicking square just at least once every now and then. I don't spam it. I don't want to get called for fouls. But remember, the easier the difficulty, the higher chance you will get the steal. Like literally, I can press it and I know that I'm most likely going to get it. I'm most likely going to green my shots. I'm most likely going to do anything I need to evolutionize my players. I don't know if that's a word. Evolve, I guess, would be the right word. And yeah, so just take advantage of it here. So you definitely want to take advantage of the lower difficulties. You guys can see I've been hitting that same shot with D-Wade pretty much the whole game. Look at this steal just doing that. What did I do? Absolutely nothing. I just came up and took it from him as he was bringing the ball up the court. I'm going to try it again. Just basically come up. He spins sometimes. I'm not going to get every steal. I don't expect to get 15 steals a game, but it's definitely possible. And you can get your points in this, assists, literally anything. I could really drop like 45 with weight on a rookie difficulty with ease. I get the steal there. More than likely, you'll actually get that. I missed it right there. So now I could call double teams by pressing L1. It'll double team whoever has the ball. Either I'll come over with Wade or if I call it here, for example, the other guy will come over and that's gonna basically give me a good chance to get the steal whether I do or somebody else you could really go for any stat you want look at this look at this man I keep tipping it I just can't get it you go for any stat you want on lower difficulties oh my god what a move so I actually need two more steals with my D Wade there's one right there look at that I just came over to help 
on the double. I'm going to let LeBron come through. And all we need is one more. I don't mind if I don't get this one. I could play free safety trying to get it from behind like this. Like, look, I know it's coming there. I could have gotten that one if I was slightly faster. Or I could just take it from him like that because he don't want that ball. The amount of tips we had this game is insane. And honestly, I'm really not upset if we don't get it because at the end of the day, I don't mind going into a triple threat game and showing you how I'll get it there. In triple threat, there are so many ways to get steals, so many. So one way would be when they drive in. Sometimes guys drive in and try to do spin moves or try to go up for different types of layups. And you could just get a bump steal off that. It just hits off someone's leg, hits off this, and you just end up with the ball. That's one way you could strip them on the way up. A lot of times, they'll just be throwing the ball up the court, and the ball just magically lands in your player's hands. Like, you'll just steal it just like that, the CPU type thing. So if you still don't want to sit through these games, some of them are short. Like I said, this was a short game. I got 440 MT. I barely did anything. I was kind of grinding weight. He had 30 something points, a couple rebounds, couple assists. Like all those stats are inflated. You could do that with any of your Evo cards for sure. But if you really don't want to sit through any of that and just want to play something else, I fully understand. Like I said, me personally, I cannot go into a domination game on a lower difficulty. I can't get myself to sit there knowing I'm not really getting anything but the Evos. I want to do it within the flow. So these are all on pro. And I recommend just sitting there getting them done on here. You could definitely do it on the first couple spotlights. I scored 40 points with Semi Ujle on the third spotlight D Wade challenge. The video is linked in the description below. So trust me, you could really do anything. Now I already know, but we'll double check. We are one steal away. So we're gonna go into Triple Threat Online and get that steal. Of course, since I wanna get a steal on Triple Threat for a video, it's not gonna happen. But basically, you full core press with Wade and let him recover and stuff. Let him do his thing. Wade got that steal. I'm gonna show it to you guys right here. And that's what I'd be talking about. In the paint, just stuff happens and you end up with the ball you didn't even have any control over. And sometimes I really do get like three to four steals without me doing anything. And now which one's going to be faster, easier and all that? It's definitely going to be pro or rookie or whatever the case is. Difficulty on a full game where you're playing against the computer. You could just get stuff really, really easy. But this is a little more fun. You kind of get random rewards like you could get tokens and stuff. The rewards for triple threat aren't that good. That's what you get for off bowling, buddy. And then there's obviously domination. I still think domination is the best way to make MT tokens, all that. The reasons are endless. I will put the link for that video as well down below just in case you didn't see it. But I just wanted to give you guys different options. So the people that want to play online can play this. The people that are fine playing that. The people that want to play that. I'm giving you guys as many options as you basically can have. Just different things you can work on. When I play Domination, I tend to have like four guys in my lineup to play at the same time. So two of my starters, two of my bench, and I work on them that way. Here we see we need 20 dunks and 300 points with D Wade to upgrade him to a Ruby. It should be very easy. We see on the right all the badges he gets, his little attribute boost. And we also can click R2 to see when he becomes an Ami. So I heard that Ami Wade is really, really good. Look at all those badges. Look at all those stats that are getting upgraded. He's about to have an 83. He's going to have really good stats, honestly. So this is a free card you guys can work on upgrading. If you guys have any other questions, please let me know. I've been trying my absolute best to give you guys all the helpful tips I can. Make sure to always let me know what you guys want. If you guys want to see gameplay with any of my new cards or anything like that, this is a quick flex on my, my team. I actually have not spent any VC or money on VC, I should say. Besides the 100k VC I got when I bought the game. But other than that, this is pure grinding. Please make sure you guys like up the videos if they're helpful. Share them with anyone. It could help. Subscribe if you're new. And I will see y'all later. Ballin'.